connect, 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 connect. Connect. Kupata information unataka. Connect. Life ni journey, pia ni process. Connect. For every step una make, it brings a different outcome. It always comes together. Everything in life is a process. Process. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. Believe in the process. Everything in life comes together. Together. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. Believe in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspiring, informing, and impacting. This is the connect. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another great episode of Wise Up. Today, we're going to touch on the topic, living in the pandemic. Life, as we know it, has definitely changed since COVID-19 struck. Our freedom to mingle with friends and family has been challenged, and most cases actually is limited. Unlike before, when you only had to worry about your car keys, or whether it's raining, whether it's sunshine, and what to dress up, where to go, and all that, now you actually have to worry about carrying a sanitizer, putting on a mask, and actually to social distance. We all have different experiences at a personal level, but lockdowns, Oh my, who would have predicted that this pandemic would bring some very crazy things that no one actually thought that we'll ever have to do in our lifetime. Even with the vaccination, we are still not convinced that we have beat this big evil. And so the questions in our minds are, how do we plan our lives from here? How do we plan for our future, our careers, our families, our dreams, and our goals? How do we even stay positive and helpful and hope upon hope and again upon hope? Well, while we may not have all the answers, Today, we want to share some tips on how to live through the pandemic and possibly any other situation in life that you have no control over. We're going to look at a model which was actually started by a lady called Elizabeth Kubler, who's a Swiss-American psychiatrist. And she has a model called the Kubler-Ross model, which has five stages of grieving. In her model, she says that there are actually five stages of uh, grieving, and the first stage is denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. 1.5 years down the line, some of us are still in denial, with the worst of them thinking that COVID-19 is a big conspiracy and doesn't really affect people. With every snap lockdown, we express our anger at the situation, the government, and sometimes at one another. Some have even taken it further, expressing it through demonstrations in major city. And still, some of us have found ourselves bargaining that we will at least get an opportunity to celebrate our graduations, wedding, and in some sad situations, say goodbye to our loved ones. The depression stage has seen many giving up and unfortunately dealing with a pandemic in an equally negative way. This is by doing drugs, alcohol consumption, violence and actually disconnecting from their loved ones and society in general. Acceptance, according to Kubla, allows one to change their mindset knowing that we may not be able to fight but we may as well be prepared to be better at whatever is going on. Acceptance allows us to take advantage of the small things that we are still able to do despite the restrictions, such as taking five kilometer walks and setting up a home gym. It also allows us to change our mindsets for positive attitude so that instead of complaining when, it, when you make that Zoom call to your family members, we actually use this opportunity to encourage, to build others and to plan for a better tomorrow. Our second tip is avoid dwelling so much on negativity. We spend so much time watching the news on the pandemic and even when we are not, we are discussing what we watch with friends and colleagues. In psychology, this is called remuneration. 
where you allow a negative notion in your thought process for a long time. According to research, a constant exposure to stresses could lead to chronic stress leading to depression and other mood disorders. While it is good to be informed on what is going on so far regarding the pandemic, we need to intentionally find positive topics to focus on with our discussions. We ought to purposefully inspire and motivate each other and endeavor not to leave the next person feeling worse than we found them. Lastly, change your habits out with the old in with the new i know it might sound cliche touche and whatever touche or cliche you may want to call it but it's actually very impactful and helpful to your health joe dispenser defines a habit as a reductant set of automatic and conscious thoughts behaviors emotions acquired through repetition. He further explains that you can be so attuned to a habit that your body becomes better than your mind in doing the same activity. It's important therefore to direct your body to do even that which it will otherwise not do. You may not be a gym person for instance, but with limited places to visit, your body requires that extra movement to function at optimum. Find ways to compensate for that even if it means walking up and down your staircase a couple of times, sit down in the sun at your backyard, open your blinds and windows just to let some light and fresh air in. Learn a new skill, redecorate, declutter your house, do something that contributes to your personal development, e.g. reading a book. But lastly, most importantly, make sure that the pandemic does not end with you. Let's get to the other side better than we went in.